Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we're going to continue our grind for a Melanistic Red Deer Stag. Hopefully we can get him before the brand new map comes out, because if we don't, there's a good chance I won't get him for a very long time. Because I have a feeling I'm going to pretty much lose my life to this map and just play it 24-7. It seems like it's going to be a ton of fun, and I cannot wait to get on it. Now, today we're primarily just going to show off anything that ends up being a level 8 or higher. But, I mean, this guy is one of the smaller level 8 racks, so we might as well take him out too. Now, one thing that we are going to be doing today is using the drilling rifle, because it actually is a very efficient and strong rifle against Red Deer. And I want to see how well it does at longer ranges with them, because it doesn't have as much bullet drop as I had initially thought, so... I think what we're going to do today is kind of mess around with it a little bit, while also working towards getting a melanistic Red Deer. And that was a solid hit right there. Absolutely smacked him. You know, this is a pretty solid way to start the day off. I do really like this rack, and it's not too often that you see it on the level 7s. Typically, it's the level 8s that have this one, but it looks really good. I think it's just an awesome looking rack, and I wouldn't mind getting a rare with this one. I think that would be pretty sweet, but we're going to go ahead and move on. We got a lot of grinding to do today, so let's not waste too much time. Well, that's a very solid mythical right there that actually is a diamond potential one, as you can see by the estimate. I doubt it will make it. I've heard a couple people say that level 8s can, but I've never actually seen it happen myself, so I can't really confirm if it is a thing. But I'm hoping it is just for the sake of this kill right here. So I think what we're going to do is try to get him to move and then take a shot on him. Because I don't want to take a frontal shot with him being kind of sloped a little bit. That would not be a good idea. Uh, looking at the antlers on this guy, I'd say this is probably going to be around I-220s, maybe 230s. Doesn't look to be any higher than that, unfortunately. That might have been a bit high, but it looks like we did clip the lung because he's going down pretty fast. What a giant red deer. Only a level 8, but still a beast at 222. And it does look like this is the smaller variation of this rack because it has the flat crowns at the top. There's a couple different ones. One of them has the flat crowns like this one. And then there's another one that actually has some more, I guess, thicker crowns at the top, which that one is a little bit higher scoring. You know, if I didn't know any better, I would think that this is a level 5 if I had no spotting. Because that thing looks absolutely huge. And there's another one right next to him. I believe it's somewhere over here, but there's another one that looks very similar. Could these possibly be diamond level 4 mouflon? I shot a couple of these the other day when I was going through here. I don't remember seeing these big level 4s, so it could possibly be respawns from my last Red Deer run. It looks pretty insane though, I mean that is an absolute giant of a level 4, up to 183 on the estimate. And I don't know where the second one went, but it went up to 180. Uh, we definitely need to get these guys down. Because they look to be pretty massive. All I have on me that can take them, though, is the 243. So that's a little bit unfortunate. I just need to find that 180 top estimate one now. Uh, that's not him right there. Oh, that's him right there, I think. Kind of tucked behind. Actually, no, it's definitely not. Well, I guess for now, let's just take this guy out. 243 should be able to reach a lung from this angle. Yeah, that looked pretty good. You know, I'm starting to wonder if maybe there was not a second one that passed 180. Maybe it was just that one that went up to 183. I could have just been seeing things, but... I guess we will find out on our next run, because most likely they'll be back. Hopefully this guy ends up making it. I've heard people say that diamond level 4s are a thing, and this guy looks to be pretty big, but... Honestly, I don't think he's going to make it. He's probably going to be around 170 or 172, and 167.70 is definitely a big one, but not a diamond. In fact, like 12 points below diamond. Well, that's pretty cool right there. It's definitely not a red deer, but that is a piebald roe deer. I've been wanting to get a diamond roe deer ever since they changed the scoring on them, but just have not had much luck at all. Haven't really hunted Quattro too often, and I guess this little guy's just been chilling here on our map since the last time that I hunted for roe deer. I really don't check this side of the lake too often, so 
it would make sense that this guy's probably been here for quite a while, but uh, we should be able to take a shot. Um, 250 meters is not an easy shot, but I think we should be able to do it. I'm a little bit worried about the render bug, but as long as we make a good shot with a 243, I think we should be good. He has about 150 meters to run before he would be out of render. But honestly, I think to be safe, we're just going to move a little bit further to the left over here and maybe even just sneak up on this side and try to get a little bit closer. That's pretty cool though. It's been a long time since I've seen a decent piebald and that one's actually not that bad in size. So it's going to be nice to get him down. Oh my gosh, he's right there. I thought that he was a little bit further up, so I've been looking at that waypoint the whole time, just kind of staring at it, and I didn't realize that he was actually down here in a spot where he can pretty much see us, so uh, let's go ahead and try to line up on this guy. He's pretty close. So let's zero to 75. We're going to sneak up to the edge of this little drop off right here, and this should be a pretty easy shot to make. I mean, he's literally only like 60 meters in front of us. And that'll do the trick. Might as well get his girlfriend too. You know, sometimes Call of the Wild works in weird and mysterious ways. Now, I would most likely be grinding T. Awaroa for Red Deer, but because of the fact that I've been crashing a lot on there, I ended up grinding Red Deer on Quattro. And because of that, we just found ourselves a really cool piebald road deer that is a, actually a twisted road deer at the moment, but uh, still a piebald twisted one regardless. It's a. Uh, wow, that is a. I don't even know what to say about that. That's just something else. Oh my. Um. Well. I'd say that's thumbnail worthy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, well, let's just claim this thing. Oh wow, it actually made gold at 6750. That actually might replace something in our lodge. That's really cool. And I think the piebald roe deer is the coolest piebald in the game. Uh, it actually shares the same pattern with the musk deer also. So they both have a very beautiful look to them. That is awesome. What an awesome looking roe deer. It's been ages since I've had a good rare roe deer. Or a good roe deer in general to be honest. Oh, oh, ooh, hello there. That is a level 9 legendary red deer. Literally right after I found that piebald, the next lake has a level 9. What is our luck today? I got a troll level 9 out of the same spot on stream a couple days ago. And this is a really nice surprise to see another level 9 here. This spot just must be insane for them. Now, I can't tell if this guy is big rack or small rack. Because there actually is two variations of this rack. There's one that scores really high 260s. And then there's also one that scores like below 250s and barely makes diamond. If I'm not mistaken, this is the bigger one. Because I believe the bigger one has the split brow tines, or not brow tines, but the split tines like halfway up the beam. And this appears to have the same thing. Uh, we're going to try and get a little bit closer, I think, because this guy's in a terrible spot in front of a tree or behind a tree, actually. This right here actually might be good. I think we finally got that tree out of the way. Uh, 140 away. We can zero to 150 and then this should be good. And yeah, he is out of the brush and away from everything that could be potentially blocking him. So let's see if we can get a shot into him here. That appeared to be pretty good. That is so cool. We have had six trolls in a row for Red Deer, so... This is going to be really nice to get. I've been having just troll after troll after troll, and it's been a little bit discouraging, but this right here should make diamond. That is definitely vital blood right there. This guy went down almost immediately, and this is only the second run that we've done today. We have been finding not a ton of big males, uh, a lot of small ones that I haven't been showing on camera but we've only killed like one or two mythicals in level seven so i did not expect to find a level nine this quick but i mean i can't really complain it's been ages since we got one that actually has a chance of making diamond so so many trolls in the last couple months let's hope this guy won't troll us and he has a diamond at 267 that's actually a really big one too i think this is my second biggest of all time 
What a monster red deer. That guy is absolutely huge. Just a massive red deer. That is super awesome. So basically what I was talking about, these tines right here, they only split off on this, uh, or actually not these ones. I think it's this one right here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's the one right at the base of the large cluster up at the top. It splits off on the big, big rack, and then on the smaller one that scores low 250s, it doesn't split off, and there's a little bit less mass on the main beams. So that's the biggest way to tell them apart. Uh, it's still not easy to do when you're just glancing at them, but that is a beautiful red deer right there. Definitely going to go in our lodge. Well, if that isn't just the biggest red deer you ever seen, that is an absolute giant right there. Definitely going to take that guy out. <laughs> that is insane. I always love finding those absolutely tiny red deer because it really just shows you how small they can get. They pretty much look like a roe deer at that point. And there you have it. We go from probably one of the biggest red deer that we've seen in a very long time to one of the smallest. What a beast of a red deer. 5970 doesn't even crack the 60 score. I think I've had one before that didn't even have these little nubs coming off of the main beams. But it's been a long time, so this is probably the smallest one we've found as of recent. And man, he is something else. And I think to end things off for this video, we're going to go ahead and push all of these red deer herds out into this field like we did a couple months ago when I was showing you guys this awesome spot right here. It is just an amazing place to get a bunch of red deer out of the main need zones and into an area where you can take them out. And it's a fantastic way of making money. For anyone that needs some cash and doesn't necessarily have access to Silver Ridge Peaks where you can get the mountain lions or uh, considering the geese are broken on Hirschfelden right now, this is another way that you can do it. You just want to push all of the red deer up in this direction out into these fields that are just past this bridge and this spot is right here along the river. So you just want to push them all up into these fields right here and that's what we're about to do. And obviously you would want a better gun for this, but we only have the uh, 9.3 from the drilling rifle with us today. But as you can see, these guys just push through here and you can get all of them just kind of trapped over in this area. Now, we're not going to be shooting any of these today because we don't really need to take out any of these for money at the moment. But before we end, I just figured I'd show you guys this little trick once again. It's a fantastic way to get a bunch of red deer out of their main drink zone so you don't end up deleting the drink zones. While also still be able to wipe out a bunch of them for cash. So, I highly recommend doing this if you guys are uh, tight on money. Or just want to have a little bit of fun because you can just have a ton of fun blasting red deer. I actually want to spot those rabbits real quickly because I am looking for another... Oh my... Alright, well, as I was saying, <laughs> I'm looking for another diamond European hare. And uh, that right there is one of them. That is pretty awesome. What are the odds of that? The second that I actually start saying that I'm looking for one, we end up spotting it. This has been one of the craziest hunts I've had on my own maps in a very long time. It's been ages since I've had two diamonds and a rare in the same video off of my map. Typically multiplayer is the one that produces like that. Let's go ahead and put on the Argus for the 22. I feel like that's going to be the move here. Now, the question is, how much are we going to have to compensate? If we miss the first shot, then we are definitely getting a little bit closer, but that is insane. I had completely forgot that the estimate is 5 to 7 kgs on these. That's just insane. Let's try to get him down. Um, let's get off this track so it's not in the middle of our screen constantly. I don't know how this is going to go. I don't even know where to aim, but we'll try right here. Okay, so that was a little bit low. We're going to wait for him to calm down and then try again. Alright, so he's once again calm, but he is trying to move. Uh, that's definitely not good. We don't want him to be traveling away. Otherwise, we might never see this little guy again. Uh, let's try to run up and get him to stop moving. I think that's going to be the move here. Alright, so we finally got these little guys to stop, and it looks like they are at about 150 meters this time. Let's just double check real quickly. Yeah, 158, so... This should be a makeable shot. We're just going to go ahead and prone on top of this hay bale. 
And then we should be able to make this shot. Let's just not screw this up. Oh. Somehow we screwed it up. I'm not exactly sure what just happened there. It said 158, we aimed slightly high, and it still missed somehow. There's our level 3 right there, 140 meters away. Let's see if we can make this shot this time. There we go, we finally got him down. That took a lot longer than I was intending it to, and this video is probably going to be a bit longer than what I wanted it because of that. Although I don't know how much footage I'm actually going to have after I get done but it might be a little bit longer, which is a bit unfortunate. I know a lot of you guys prefer the videos to be around the 15 to 18 minute mark, but a lot of these end up being over 20 minutes because I just keep on finding stuff that I want to continue to put in the video, and then it just ends up being a really, really long video. But this should be the last thing that we do. Let's just try to figure out where this little guy went. There it is. There is our level 3. Uh, European hair. This is something I don't see too often, so I'm excited about this. Let's hope it ends up scoring pretty good. My last European hair was a max score 1000 that I got shortly after Quattro Colinas released, and I didn't get that one on video because I wasn't doing YouTube at the time, but this one is 6.50 and it actually just barely made diamond, so this is probably a pretty small one I would imagine. I couldn't imagine this being a big one. I'm guessing they probably max around seven. Although I don't really know too much about them. We will have to figure that out later, but that's pretty cool. A nice way to end it off. A European hair diamond that I did not expect to see, especially considering I was just intending on showing you guys how to push the red deer up there and then we ended up spotting this guy out in the field. So that's a pretty cool way to end things. Okay, so there's something a little bit strange about this European hair. It says 6.5 trophy rating right here, but then when I pick it up and then put it down, it says 6.60 right here. So it must have been just barely below. It's probably like 6.5999 or something like that. So it ends up saying 6.60 when you go into the actual trophy manager, but that's pretty cool. We got ourselves a European hair. And I thought I had only had one of them previously, but it looks like this is also a European hair. So this would be my third diamond. But as you guys can see, I got this one back in December of 2019. So it's been a long time since I've seen a diamond one. So this is pretty awesome. And it actually looks like our old piebald roe ro deer is smaller. So let's put our new one right here. This has actually been a really successful hunt. We managed to get three new Trophy Lodge additions, which is something that doesn't happen a lot nowadays. Usually we get max of one, and on most occasions we don't get anything that can go in the main lodge. So I think what we're going to end up doing is removing this red deer right here and putting our brand new one there. Uh, let's just make sure he doesn't flip through anything, and that definitely does, so... Let's just go ahead and put him like that. I think that looks really good. This is probably my favorite room in the entire lodge. My red deer and Sika deer room. It just looks so cool with all these gigantic red deer racks. Uh, I am going to change the pose of this guy a little bit. I think, yeah, that looks good right there. I like that. And then, you know what? Let's do the same thing on that one. I think that's cool. The top ones on all three sides are just the antlers. I definitely like the way that looks. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you are brand new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to comment down below with your favorite part of this video, what you would like me to hunt next, what guns you would like me to use, and what you're expecting to see out of this brand new reserve when it finally releases. But with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!